Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival episode 22 and season 1 finale. That's right, we have finally reached the last episode of the season. But don't worry, season 2 is right around the corner. So, in this episode, we will be... If you didn't watch the last episode, we will be fighting the Wither Boss. Indeed, that will be the finale of the season. We will be fighting the Wither Boss. And getting the Nether Star, I guess, that's a trophy. We can't really make a beacon, because we don't have access to glass, unfortunately. So yeah. And then we'll be saying goodbye to Struder and company down there. And uh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be cool. So, let's get right into it, shall we? Um... Do I have everything I need? I do definitely not. By the way, of course, if you did not watch the last episode, we got four netherite stuff. And that is really cool. Also, a thing I want to do in this episode is get durability on all of it. Because I just thought that would be fun and cool. We're definitely going to get durability on the armor and the sword and the crossbow. Maybe. Um, and the pickaxe. Uh, and we'll have to make durability on the axe and the shovel. In fact, we need some soul sand right now. Uh, to be able to spawn the wither. Now first, I would like for this magma thing here to kindly stop existing. Because it's annoying. Get be, be gone. Very good. Also, I should equip some gold armor here so I don't get attacked by uh, piglins. Oh, there's a skeleton. Eat multi-shot. Okay, that... I think that was made. How, how many? How many things was that? Did it get hit once? I don't know. Anyways, four soul sand right here. Very cool. Now we need the wither skulls and skulls, and we have five of them. So we definitely have plenty. We will have two for decoration, and then three for summoning the boss. All right. So that is what we need to be able to spawn the beast. Uh, we have my boots right here. I'm going to drink a fire resistance just before the fight, just in case. And I am also going to eat the golden apple, the one golden apple that we have, as it will give regeneration for a little bit and absorption, I believe, or resistance. I'm not sure either, which one. Um, either way, it's going to help us, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and yeah, I think that is it. I don't think that's anything else I need. Yep, that's everything. All right. Well, let's get to it. So, first off. Where are we going to spawn the wither? I've decided that it would not be a good idea to do it down at bedrock level because he flies up and there's nothing to stop him from going up by exploding the stuff above him. So he would just be very hard to reach. So therefore we're going to be doing it at the bedrock ceiling, which is going to hinder him from flying up and it's going to make life easier for us. So that is what we will be doing there. So I'm thinking we're gonna go over here, a little bit away from base, just in case, right? And then I'm thinking just dig straight up, all the way up to bedrock level, which should be at like Y level, what, 120 and, and something like that? Something like that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go from, from there. So yeah, this is, um, this is big. We better survive this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dig straight up and I'll see you at the top. All right, I have dug all the way up to the bedrock ceiling here. This is the staircase and I mined in a little bit. There's a cave down there, so mined in a little bit so also so we have some space to work with. And I found this right here. And I think we're gonna use this to our advantage because you see the wither flies upwards. And if he flies up, like right here, he might stay in here, making it able for us to actually have a chance at defeating him. But anyways, I guess it is time to begin. I'm going to swap to my netherite boots, because we need full armor protection. Um, you, my friend, uh, you're gonna be in the... I'm sorry, but you're gonna be in the way. I hope his friends are not coming. <laughs> they better not. Uh, I also want a little area for myself. Over here, maybe. It's a bit safe with some bedrock. 
just a place where I can run to until it blows up. And I can eat my golden apple and my fire resistance potion. Um, yeah. I guess let's just get to it. Let's get to it. Um, gonna place this right here. I think. I think this will be good. Hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure if this will actually be in the way. We might have to move it. We'll find out. Are we ready? As soon as he spawns in, I'm running into my hole, draining the fire resistance, and as soon as he blows up, I'm gonna eat the golden apple to get the effects so they, they so that they last, and then it's zero time. Season one finale, boss battle. Here we go. Oh, he spawns. Okay, good, 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 good. Fire resistance right now, and as soon as he blows up. I don't know if we can use the shield. Eat it. I guess we'll equip it. Alright, let's go, go. Oh, he's low. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, if I just bridge up here. Like, he's just... He's still gonna blow up. But... Okay. Yes, we can actually do this. We can actually do this. Ow. 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 Let me out. Let me out. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let him heal. I need to heal. Okay, see? He stays up there. Okay, absorption. Good. Do your thing. Okay. We got him. We got him. I think we got him. As soon as... As long as I don't get hit again, I'm gonna eat real quick. Come on. He's in his lower stages. Come on. Come on. Let's take him head on. Mm. Head on. Let's go. Yes! We got him. We actually got him. Wither, don't kill me. Okay. We did it. Another star. Whew. Okay, that that wither is really what kills you. It's not the damage from the from the from the from the skulls. It's the wither effect. Nice. Nether star achieved. Mission successful. Now had he not been stuck in this bedrock, I think we would not have been able to defeat him. It's that simple, because you saw how much damage that wither did, and it allowed us to be able to back up and eat and heal. So yeah, that I, I'm not sure if I'm not sure we would have been able to to beat him if we weren't able to do that. We might have been able to, but it would definitely have been. 10 times harder, if not more. But then another star, and also the golden apple just ran out. Okay. But we got the golden star. Golden star? No, it's not a golden star, it's another star. <laughs> and it's a special star, we can't use it for anything. We can't make glass down here in the nether, unfortunately. And if you're wondering, well, how do you have glass bottles? Uh, it is from bothering with Piglin and giving me fire resistance potions. Drinkable. So that's how I got that. Um. But yeah, Nether Star. I guess this Nether Star concludes season one. Let's go back home and, uh, well, let's put it in a trophy case. Well, I say trophy case, but really, it's gonna be an item frame. But it's gonna be a special item frame because it's going to contain the Nether Star, which will basically signalize the end of season one. Now, I should probably re equip my golden boots here. So that these guys don't attack me. I don't know where to actually put it. That is the thing. I don't know where to put it. There's no center. I guess that will work right there, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that's pretty centered. All right. This is a very special item frame right here. Just going to put it here or here. I think here. We can easily see it. And boom. Actually, let's name it so we can actually see it when we look at it. What should we name it? Should we just name it Nether Star or should we name it Season 1 Complete? Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm very bad at thinking of names and stuff like that. So, I've called it this. Nether Survival Season 1 Completed because that is what this signifies. So I think this will work. There we go. And now, we should be able... Yes. Nether Survival Season 1 completed. I guess I could also just call it Nether Survival Season 1. But we, we've got to get the completed in there. 
because that is what this signifies. We have completed it by getting the Nether Star. Pretty cool stuff. All right, well, let's take a um, let's take a let's take a small tour, shall we, of the place before we leave for the final time. So right here is our first home, our first base. This is the first base that we built using the various warped, uh, well, not warped, using the various new nether wood. It did, I believe it did get an upgrade um, during the season. But this is the home. Nice, I really like how this looks. I really like the colors. And I really like how everything here works nicely. And I really like that we're able to make the barrels as well. They make excellent storage here. I really like this storage setup right here and this right here. Except that this needed to be a barrel as well. Um, but yeah, I really like that. And then the chest here in the middle. And then upstairs we have the jukebox with the pig step music disc. Of course, we, we, have, we, have, to, we have to play this at the end. We have to. Uh, we have the anvil here, which we made in the last episode. We have the smithing table. And, of course, the respawn anchor. And a balcony to go outside. And, well, I guess I should have maybe made this a little bit nicer to look at. But I didn't. This is how far we got. Moving out through the garden here. Or, yeah, I guess it's the garden. This portal right here is where it all began. We were, We are not able... To pass through it, unfortunately. Yeah, that's right. Stay back. We're not able to pass through this portal. We are not allowed to leave the nether. But this is where it all started. I believe... I did actually get rid of it. But there were one tree here. I believe that was the first tree we punched as well. And then... Eh, we made this tree farm right here. Which, in fact, I'm going to be using right now. I want to use... Durability on my axe. I want to use the netherite axe. So I'm gonna grow these and we're gonna get some more wood. Oh yes, that that's fast. Oh, you know what? I need the netherite hoe as well. We gotta get durability on that too. Oh, that is so quick. That is so super awesomely quick. <laughs> what is the durability of the hoe then? 2031 as well. Not bad. But yes, we made this tree farm and we have used it quite a bit. It has been a really nice addition to have here in the <laughs> harsh environment of um, of of the nether here. It has been very nice to have a dedicated area for these trees. And they have grown quite big as well, some of them. So that's interesting. Alright, here we are. Right up here, we made... Yeah, we made the Hockland Farm. Doesn't seem as effective anymore, unfortunately, as it used to. But I guess it did uh, indeed increase in meat production <laughs> after they disabled meat being dropped by the um, by the baby hoglins. So that is very understandable. Let's just let, let's just crawl up in it. Just we we gotta look at it, right? We gotta look at it. This has been a very good addition as well because even with the reduced um, performance here, it is still an easy way to get a bunch of food very quickly. So here it is. Yeah, there we go. Trap doors on the top to hinder other things from spawning. So only Hucklins spawn here. Trap doors to make them fall in. And yeah. It it still works. It reduced performance, but it still works. So we made that. That has been a huge contribution as well. Cause food. And yeah, I'm re I'm really happy we made that. Cause Eating mushroom stew all the time is... That's a big no. And finally, but definitely not least, it is time we say goodbye to the Struder and company family. Well, the Struder family, really. I don't know why I put company back there. Together with family, it doesn't, doesn't matter. We need to say goodbye to the family of Struder. Well, Struder's family. Struder family. The Struder family. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, we also made this at the very beginning. Um, the thought was to hold Hucklins here, but I remember at the very beginning there was a bug or something that made them not able to actually leave the Crimson Forest, so we weren't actually able to use it. 
um, until a later date. And then we made the big one over there, the big hotland farm, and then we really didn't need this. Plus then their range got uh, increased as well, and using this was kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, give me my rush mushrooms. It was a bit of an air, yeah, this one. So, uh, it's here, but doesn't really have a use anymore. Over here, we made a mushroom farm, which actually is still doing pretty good. Yeah, it's doing very nicely, actually. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Hard to tell which ones to pick, and I did just pick the wrong one. Good job, me. But yeah, that, this is working as well. This has been providing mushrooms. Of course, after we have gotten the, the Hogland farm over there, they have not been that much needed. Well, they were needed while we were out in our diamond quest, but I was not smart and didn't bring any with me. Yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't smart at all. Now, to Struder family down here. We never actually got to name. Well, we named Jackie and we named Struder. I guess this is then Struder Jr. Struder, uh, Struder Jr. Huh? Let me fetch a name for you real quick, shouldn't I? All right, so we have Struder, we have Jaggy, and now we have Struder Jr. Finally, about time you got a name, buddy. Yeah, we couldn't re we couldn't leave the series without giving you a name, couldn't we? No, we couldn't. Yeah, we made this uh, we made this area here for the for the. Struder family here, <laughs> and it, it, it worked. It, it works quite well actually, going in and out of this. So that is really really cool. Yeah, and that is pretty much it. Of course, there's all the fortresses that we've been looting and such. Of course, there is base delta, which I will just have to put some footage over on right now because I don't at this point in time don't want to travel all the way over there. But I'll put some footage in of base delta that we made when we located the Basil Delta biome that we made base delta. That is pretty cool, I'm re pretty happy with that build. I think it looks really awesome. Unfortunately, we did not get to actually be over there anymore this season, but that is quite all right. We were there for quite a bit and it did indeed serve its purpose. But anyways, that is, um, well, I guess this wraps up season one that hopefully you will enjoy. Um, and I think it will make things a little bit more interesting. I guess the final thing there is to do now is, uh, well, clear the inventory, equip the netherite boots, cause come on. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, so I really, really hope you have enjoyed this season and this episode. I certainly have. And I hope you're looking forward to season two. I certainly am. I think it's going to be very interesting. It's not, again, going to be the same thing over again. There are some changes, so I'm very excited. Again, just quickly, don't expect it to drop at the same day the update does, because I still have to make it and such, so it might be one or two days or something like that delayed, but it will definitely come. But yeah, just so you know, it is coming ASAP. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in season two. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye.
Za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta banting nikun ting nari tempaya katos ake katos ekon telan na weru terasi za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta banting nikun ting nari tempaya katos ake katos ekon telan na weru terasi za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta banting nikun ting nari tempaya katos